Hi, my name is Albert Dunford, and in this tutorial video, we are going to design a PI controller for the inner current loop of this buck regulator uh, using Smart Control. So we're going to run an AC sweep and PSIM, generate a frequency response, import that into Smart Control, design a PI controller, and then implement that in PSIM. So let's have a look at the open loop response first. Uh, here we can see the uh, current flowing through the inductor and we can see our output voltage here. We can see we're hitting steady state around 12 or, or 13 milliseconds. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save this as our first run. Uh, open loop so that we can compare this versus what happens afterwards. Okay, let's set up now. I've already set up the AC sweep. Uh, let's run this now as well and We'll then import this frequency response into Smart Control. And uh, what I'll do is I'll save this, save as uh, open loop. And we need the .fra file extension for the import. As an extra period there, I'll just delete that. Okay, so there's our, our frequency response. So now what I'm gonna do is we'll open this into Smart Control. We create new document and launch initial dialog. So we'll click this. We're going to import a frequency response, which is this from txt file. Uh, it's going to be current mode control. Hit OK. And let's just browse the location. OK, so we can see I've got my uh, frequency response imported now. Uh, and I've uh, filled in 250k for the switching frequency and 782 milliamps for the uh, design current. So we'll just hit OK. Next up, we'll choose a sensor. Uh, we'll, current sensor, we'll have a gain of one. Next step is to choose the compensator. We'll take a PI, please. And in here, uh, we'll leave this alone. I'm not gonna do an op amp implementation, but I'm gonna change this to one and zero. And uh, this time here, this is the, the time spent on, and I'm gonna have a sawtooth waveform of 98% duty cycle. So one over 250k is four microseconds so 98 percent of that is 3.92 microseconds and uh zero to one so that's my carrier waveform hit okay and then uh next up we choose a uh, spot so that we can get into the next stage here so okay so here are our bode plots uh and our solution map underneath here is the uh reference step um, when using the frequency import, uh, this solves with uh, some lower order frequencies that we have not swept. So this is going to have this offset at the bottom here. So let's just look at, at these curves and also pull up the brown one, which is the closed loop response. So we have closed loop. We have uh, the green line here is the uh, open loop and pink is the control to output. So as we move this dot, our operating point around, we see, uh, you know, our cross frequency and phase margin up here and the uh, KP um, so the uh, so the gain and uh, integral constant here uh, so we'll just move those around and, and figure out a nice design point and then implement this into PSIM okay so I've chosen uh, this design point right here which is a cross frequency of 41k and a phase margin of 78 uh, maybe we could just put that to 80 for a round number. Uh, and uh, essentially, I'm going to bring this into uh, PSIM now. I, I'm also going to close the loop with an outer voltage loop in a, another video, a part two to this video. But the first part here is we'll just look at closing the inner current loop. So I need these time constants here, which is 1.086 uh, and 20.6 micro. And I bring these into, into PSIM. So I'll do that and we'll rejoin when I've got the circuit set up. Okay, so now I've got my PI controller defined inside of PSIM here and I've got my current feedback coming from the uh, current uh, sensor here. I've got my reference set at uh, 0.782 milliamps, which is what we had before. Uh, and I've implemented the controller that we uh, designed uh, just a moment ago. So 1.086 and 20.615 micro. And now we can uh, go ahead and run this simulation and we should be able to merge this result with our uh, previous results. So let's look at the closed loop current and let's go ahead and merge this with the open loop uh, results here. So uh, IL, this was the open loop one. 
And we can see uh, we've got much better performance here. Uh, let's also pull up the uh, closed loop uh, output voltages and the open loop output voltage, which is these two. And let's also pull up um, the VM on the closed loops of the modulation waveform so we can see what that looks like. Okay, so that was how you import a frequency response from PSIM into Smart Control from Smart Control, exporting back out to PSIM and filling in the PI controller and then getting uh, your closed loop response uh, right here. Okay, and so this approach is applicable for any topology, really. You just need to do that frequency response, import to Smart Control, and then export back out into PSIM. Uh, thank you so much for watching.